Britt, you've covered Scherzer plenty. You think he views this as a setback? I don't at all. Um, he actually had a little hamstring tightness, if I remember correctly, in D.C., before he got traded to the Dodgers and then went on a crazy run there, won his first nine starts, sub two ERA. What stands out to me about Max Scherzer after covering him for two years is how well he knows his body, guys. In 2016, the last six starts, his index finger was bothering him, so he adjusted his grip. A stress fracture that December was revealed on an MRI. He put an extra finger on the baseball, was able to win a Cy Young in 2017 as well. In 2018, he was getting thumb pain. His thumb would blow up after every start. He again altered his grip. He made 33 starts there, as you can see on that graphic. He told me he felt good for maybe three of them. You look at those numbers. This is a guy who knows how to pitch, who knows how to work around things. He's not going to push a hamstring injury as we sit here before the season has started, but you can guarantee that Max Scherzer is going to find a way onto the mound. He's going to make 30 plus starts for the Mets. I know a lot of fans are not super familiar with this background. This is a guy who couldn't move his neck three days later, pitching in game seven of the World Series in 2019. I think as much as people are concerned about Jacob deGrom, you should have almost no reservations about Max Scherzer and what he's going to be able to do for the Mets this season.